Hey, welcome back to the channel. Throwing a video together today to talk more about our compression rate when we're giving CPR chest compressions. Now, before we, we even jump into that, I wanna talk and break down real quick just some age groups that we have so you understand what exactly it is that we're talking about. So remember, when we're doing CPR compressions on a person, there's a lot of things that are still the same, just a couple tweaks that we make based on the size and age of a person. So remember, for the adult, we classify that as someone who's over 12 years old and heavier than 55 pounds. We're going to use a hand over hand, two hand technique and press on the chest uh, just across the anatomical nipple line in the center of the chest at least two inches deep. When it comes to a child, you have the technique of either a one hand or a two hand based on your comfortability and their size, which for us is generally between one and 12, maybe puberty age, or maybe they're less than 55 pounds. When it comes to the infant, we have three different techniques we can use. We have a two finger traditional technique. We have a one hand technique. We also have the new encircling thumb technique where we go fingers to ribs, thumbs to chest. Those thumbs are side by side, just below the nipple line across the infant's uh, center chest. And we're compressing about an inch and a half deep. So when we're compressing and we're doing all these compressions, whether it's just compression only CPR or whether you're doing regular cycles of CPR, which is 30 compressions and two breaths, the rate is always going to be the same no matter what the age of the person is. So in other words, we're always going to compress the chest at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. So this is where that song, the Bee Gees comes in. You ever hear this before when you're doing CPR and you play the song Staying Alive by the Bee Gees, the metronome of that song is somewhere between that rhythm of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Now, I'm not telling you by any means, go out there and sing the Bee Gees when you're doing CPR, but it gives you an idea of what that flow actually looks like and uh, what that rate actually looks like. So again, we do this to produce a high level of cardiac output. So in other words, blood flow, right? We're trying to move the remaining bit of blood in someone's body by pushing on the chest, contracting the heart as we push. So that's why we wanna do that and that's how we would do that. Stay tuned, we have some more info coming down the pipeline, some other videos on giving chest compressions where we actually show you using equipment. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks so much for joining us today.